what it is, what it do, and how the hell are all of you? We are truly Petrov, motherfucker in this motherfucker. Back with a quick one, son. You know, we gotta get it done, done. Oh, I have way too much fun with that shit. Anyways, onwards and upwards. So, shit, Super Tuesday is tomorrow, right? And Koblishar and Buttigieg and Steyer all dropped out. I mean, that is kind of weird. I mean, Tim Pool, ABL, a couple others. They all said that shit's kind of weird. That's kind of, you know, what y'all vying for. What you trying to get someone promise you something. Not that they did, but kind of looks like it could be. Someone could be vying for a, a vice presidential spot. Under Sanders, under Biden, Buttigieg and uh, Klobuchar both said that they back Biden. T- Steyer will probably do the same thing because he's a cuck too. Um, I just know that this shit's wild. It's hilarious. Like... In literally an instant, half the motherfuckers dropped out. Like, you still got Biden, Sanders, Warren, Bloomberg, and Gabbard, if Gabbard hasn't dropped out yet, but she's not even fucking debating, so she has literally no reason to even be in the mix. So that being said is that. Um, definitely something that I think is is wild, to say the least. Um, I do think it's... a. Uh, I thought last week that having the amount of uh, people that we, uh, the amount of Democrats that they had was way too fucking many. Even like when, even when the Republicans are running in 16, I thought, geez, that's a lot of motherfucking, that's a lot of candidates. Like, you want people to choose between all of y'all? Like, shit, what if you like two of them? Not that really the Democrats had any of that, but they definitely, Buttigieg, Koblishar, and Steyer had no earthly chance against Trump. None. None. That there was no chance in any realm, universe, planet, whatever you want to call it, that they had a chance in beating him for the presidency. Now, maybe it's a good thing that they dropped out, so now Biden, Sanders, and Bloomberg can duke it out. I mean, yeah, Warren's in there, Gabbard's in there, but are they really? Are they really in there? No, they're not. Uh, that's that might be harsh as fuck to say. That might be damn, damn, Petrov. You, you really fucking. That's that. That's not even funny. You know. No, no, no. If you're a Democrat, you might feel some kind of way about that shit. I don't really care because your fucking party is flailing. You're fucking struggling. They're doing everything. Your, your own party is doing everything they can to keep a socialist out. Why Republicans are just sitting back, back watching this shit happen. Like I said, if Sanders gets in, it's capitalism versus socialism. There's no in between. Shit, this man fucking uh, honeymooned in the Soviet Union. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nobody wants to talk about that shit, but, yeah. P, uh, Republicans are gonna fucking be filing a subpoena to look into Hunter Biden. A lot of people are trying to say, well, that's right after fucking Biden won South Carolina. You're right. But it's also been brought up for, like, the last year. Every time quid pro quo was brought up with Trump's name, Biden followed in suit. Unless you were a Democrat and didn't want to believe in the fact that <laughs> Biden did that shit on tape in front of everybody. But, hey each their own. Like I said, this is a quick one just because just fucking seeing that Koblishar, Steyer, and Buttigieg, Buttigieg all dropped out at the same time. Man, that shit's wild. That shit's crazy. So I guess we're going to see how it goes. I mean, I'm happy Koblishar dropped out. Uh, I think she's a horrible senator. I think she was a horrible... I, I, I don't have much to say about her. I knew she never was going to fucking win uh, the presidency ever. Steyer was never going to fucking win. He couldn't even buy his way in like like a fucking Bloomberg did. in Buttigieg, he had his one little win in Iowa that he barely won. And then he kind of floundered from there on out. And when it was all these old people arguing in the last uh, uh, de- uh, debate, fucking Buttigieg didn't stand out. And that's what he would have needed. I think, I think he would have needed to stand out more to the Democratic Party in order to beat out Socialist Sanders and backseat Biden because that's really what they are. Biden's always rolled the backseat. He said he, he fucking mixes up his stories, creates false stories. Said he was arrested in South A- Africa for trying to meet N- Nelson Mandela. That shit never happened. <laughs> Just so much shit. Like I said, the Democratic Party they got more on their fucking hands to deal with than a drunk or heroin addict have to do with in a, in a day. I mean, there are signs that say anybody for 2020. That's not for Republicans. That's not for conservatives. That's not for libertarians. That's for Democrats. That's for socialists. 
That's for communists. And generally, the socialists and communists that I'm referring to are the ones that have never lived it. Ever. They live in the United States in their comfy little fucking bubble, their echo chamber, and they want to preach for all that shit. Yeah. No. There you go. Like, you've never lived it. And I heard an argument about, well, older people, the elders, they fucking, they get social uh, programs like Medicare and all this. Well, yeah, that's because they paid into it. Why wouldn't they get something they paid into? Why does my generation have to pay into something that we're never going to get? We're never going to get fucking social security unless somehow the system works out again, which it's not. But hey, if the elders that I, if my, if my elders get to get it, I'm cool with it. I'm sorry. Hopefully yours do too. But if my generation has to find our own way when we're 70 years old, well, hopefully we all make, put some money away because <laughs> I know we weren't taught how to save. That's a for sure fire fact. But like I said, these three motherfuckers all drop out at the same time. Strange timing. They could all have been promised something, whether it's a secretary of state, vice president, fucking secretary of defense, treasurer, or whatever you want to call it, cabinet position, whatever. They could have all been promised something, or they all just realized that their campaign sucked so fucking badly that there was no chance that they could win even the nomination, nonetheless, nonetheless to think that they could actually win the presidency. And on that note, Petrov is out. Peace.